And then finally, the sixth qualitative characteristic is information should be understandable. Okay, and what that means is that um, information is understandable if the information is clear and concise to, this part's important, to knowledgeable or uh, another word is diligent users. Okay, this part here is important. So what this means is that this financial information, it doesn't have to be understood by everyone on the planet. But it should be understood by knowledgeable and diligent users. So for example, let's say that you take a chef from a restaurant and this chef has no experience in accounting, never seen financial statements before, never took an accounting course, and you show them the restaurant's financials. Well, if they look at the financials and they don't understand them, it doesn't mean that the information is violating this quality of being understandable because the chef is not knowledgeable or diligent. They're not a knowledgeable or diligent user of looking at accounting information. On the other hand, let's say that we take someone who works at a bank who has 20 years of experience of loaning money to pharmaceutical companies. So they're able to take a pharmaceutical company's financials and then judge their credit worthiness. And then from there, make a decision of whether that company should get a loan or not. And they have 20 years experience doing that. Well, if they take a pharmaceutical company's financials and they don't understand it with all their experience, then that company's information is violating this characteristic because that, um, that loan officer from the bank is a knowledgeable and diligent user. Now, even knowledgeable users, they don't have to understand absolutely everything. There may be really complex transactions that even experienced users may need help in understanding. But if the whole financial statement is like that or all of the information or the vast majority of the information is like that, then it's a problem and then they are violating that quality.